The city has been hit by yet another snowfall this week. Dunedin's hill suburbs bore the brunt of the icy blast, while locals on the flat have had to deal with chilly temperatures and sleet. Local weather forecaster Dave Stewart joins us now to talk about the wintry weather. Good evening, Dave. Good evening. I hope you do come in bearing good news. Uh, no. Maybe maybe for summer. Oh, okay. Yeah, hmm. Not a lot of good news between now and, and sort of late spring. I don't oh. think... Uh, uh, it looks like um, if we get the El Nino pattern, which which seems to be kicking in now, it'll mean more southerlies, and uh, we're, we're getting a few of them this year already, and if it's going to get stronger, then we'll probably get more of them. Um, last year we hardly had a southerly, and most people who had fire, firewood for fires probably didn't burn half of it. I didn't, but this year I'm really getting stuck into it because it's mm -hmm. just been, we've just had, we've had four southerlies so far this year. Mm. Um, and I apparently was on record as saying we could get up to eight. So, <laughs> so, uh, so we have to wait and see. Um, mm. If I can get to seven, then I've done all right. Mm. Where did this week's polar blast originate? Well, it was just a big storm that went south of us, and, it, and, it, and the and the end, the back end of the storm, dragged southerlies up basically from from polar regions as we saw mm. uh, didn't last long which was interesting the coldest air sort of came through for about 24 hours and then it disappeared and you know we had the snow in the morning on on wednesday morning um, but it had largely disappeared and i live at 250 meters elevation it was largely largely disappeared off the roads by midday because uh, the temperature rose when i say rose you know we're not sort of going from from zero to ten it just needs to rise a couple of degrees with a bit of wind mm. and uh, and the snow melts pretty quick mm. is the amount of snowfall that we've had so far this year unusual the frequency is unusual mm. and it will it, i would suggest it'll stay unusual for this whole um, winter mm. and spring. Um, we don't normally get as many as this. Um, you know, we've had four and we're only partway through July. Mm. And we've still got August, uh, the rest of July, August, September, and maybe October before we can start seeing uh, really improvements, I wouldn't think. Well, you really are the bearer of bad news today. <laughs> what, what's going to happen next? Well, this weekend, frosts. Mm. Frosts for the next three or four days. Fairly big ones too, I noticed coming in tonight, the sky is cleared, uh, so the chances are pretty good of a decent frost. The good thing is that the roads have dried out largely during the day. If there are still wet patches on roads, that's like it turned to black ice. Mm -hmm. um, but otherwise, it should be just frost on the road, so people will need to take care. Uh, the next weather system is not due till about Wednesday, and it's a northerly, so it will be warmer. And when I say warmer, it might get up to 10 degrees <laughs> instead of sitting around 6. Um, you're yeah. not going to break out the sunglasses or sunblock. Mm. Uh, when you say it's going to be a big frost tonight and for the next three days, what, are, what sort of temperatures are you talking? Well, if the air temperature gets down to zero or minus one degree, so that's mm. a decent frost, it means the ground temperature will get down to about five or six. When people talk about uh, degrees of frost, they're normally talking about the ground frost. Mm. The ground is always colder than the air. Uh, well, most of the time it's colder than the air, and it will, it will drop down to uh, several degrees below what the air temperature is. So even if we've got two or three degrees in the air temperature, the ground temperature can still be colder than zero and still have frost and, mm. and uh, create a bit of treacherous road and stuff like that. So I grew up in central Otago and a, a big frost was minus 10 and the pipes froze in the house, but in Dunedin a big frost is minus 1. Oh, I know, a big frost is about minus 5. One, one is, is a bit pathetic really. It know. is, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. Why yeah. bother coming? Yeah, absolutely. If you're not going to do it properly, yeah, go absolutely. home. Absolutely. Yeah, no, <laughs> minus 5 and 6 is a big frost in Dunedin. Minus 10, minus 12, and I think even up to minus 20 mm. in central Otago Goodness. has been measured. <laughs> Rain effects hydrologist Dave Stewart, thank you very much for coming in. Even though you didn't come Not with good news, it was still lovely to see you. It was nice to see you. <laughs>